guys, it's Yuki. This is episode two of Yuki's Dialogue Diaries. Thank you for listening episode one of my podcast. Some of you reacted to my first episode, told me that it was so warm to hear my episode. I'm so appreciated that my friends listened to my podcast and reacted to that. So I hope you enjoyed this second episode too. Today I record this episode, 25th of March. This is the day of my uni's graduation ceremony. Happy graduation to me. I just worked all day from home and didn't go to a graduation ceremony. One of the reasons why is that I already have a job and、uh, I don't want to have a day off because I enjoy my work. This is like what I said to my families, my friends. When I say I don't go to graduation ceremony, but the, but the real reason why I didn't go to graduation ceremony was I was struggling from comparing myself with others since I entered the university. So that's the main reason why I didn't want to go to university. Today's theme is do I compare myself with others? So after You listen to this episode, you can comment on how you think about this topic. It's gonna be really good. So let's dive in. So I entered the university April of 2020. As you remembered, it was the beginning of COVID era. I had to be at home all the time and took、uh, online classes every single day. Which is really stressful for me. I mean, I have, I have friends from my high school because my high school is under the university. All of my friends are coming to the same university with me. So I have my friends, even though I couldn't meet them during COVID. And then I got depression because of、um, COVID and stay home situation. I mean, all I can use to connect with my friend was social media. I see like many of my friends are doing, doing something really productive. Although I was staying at home, just taking classes, didn't know whether I could, I could learn something from it or not. Because I was just in front of the laptop and it was always like a lecture that. I just listened to them and didn't talk to anybody. And my families, my dad and mom, went to the office after some time, and my brother went to school. So I am the only one who stayed at home all, all day long, every single day. And I couldn't go to a part time job because I worked at a cafe at that time and、uh, we couldn't open the cafe that much. So we didn't need A lot of people. So the only only time I went out was、uh, just taking a walk around my neighborhood alone, which was so lonely. I was so jealous with my families because they could go outside to work, and、uh, I thought that university life was the best time of life because you could enjoy a lot of time myself. To go out with friends, to hang out with friends, and made a lot of friends at the club activities or so on. So I was like so upset. What should I do? Because I was staying at home all the time, but、uh, time doesn't stop. And then, as I said before, all I could use to connect with my friend was social media, which was really bad for me because I always like compared myself with others. Like my friends, if it seems that they are really productive on their social media, I feel like, oh, I didn't do anything today. I didn't, I didn't do anything. And then it led to kind of like eating disorder. This was like not the serious one, but I was so struggled from eating、uh, foods because for me, food is for fun, but、uh, at the same time, At that time, I couldn't do much things during the day, only taking classes online in front of the laptop. 
without feeling any like results or so on so i thought i shouldn't eat anything because i didn't do anything so that's why i started to restrict myself not to eat a lot i lost a lot of weight i am going to the hospital right now so it's much better than before but still i sometimes like struggle from eating foods it's not really completely cured and then summer of 2021 i went abroad which was my biggest objectives in university life and i enjoyed a lot so it was really good and most of my memory in during the university life is during studying abroad i went to denmark i studied there for a year it was really a good experience to grow myself and uh, experience a lot of new things like other cultures making new friends and uh, solving many problems by myself so i really appreciate that i could go to denmark at that time otherwise i don't think i could live like this right now without thinking about mental health that much while i went to abroad that's when my home uni in japan in tokyo started to allow students to do some activities grab activities or started to um face-to-face -face classes lectures that's when many people started to make friends or like deepen their friendship but i was not in japan and then after i came back uh home uni it was like already my third year of the university so it was too late to join club activities which was okay because i already knew that what i wanted to do and what i like to do so i don't i don't need it but the thing I was struggled was like I couldn't I couldn't be with anyone at the university when I take classes or like after school which feels so lonely when I'm when I'm at the university seeing many people are with their friends. So the current current situation I still compare myself with others. I mean that's why I couldn't go to graduate ceremony today. And since I work from home through time from February, although many of my friends are not full time because they they start their job from first of April most of the time, like most of them go to graduation trip, which I also went. So I decided not to see the social media that much, so that I don't I don't have to compare myself with others. And after I went to Denmark, I realized several things that how I tackle with my mental health issues. There are some tips uh, for that. First of all, for me, digital detox is not an option for uh, solving mental health issues. Because I feel like influencers on social media are living in other world. I see social media every single day and I found some kind of uh, therapeutic content, inspirational quote or uh, many knowledge or funny videos. So it makes me really feel good most of the time. But I don't I don't see like many videos of losing weight because I still think of my depression time with eating disorder. But other than that, I always see influencers' contents every single day, even though my mental health is not good. I just choose the good contents for me on social media, and then it's okay. And also for me, friends in foreign countries are not really the target of comparison. I don't know why. I feel like they are living far away and um, different environment. If we are in the same country, I compared with wisdom. Of course, if you think every social media content is bad for you, I think digital detox is also an option, but not for me. Second tips is going to outside to intake sunshine. In Denmark, it's not so good weather, especially in winter. It's almost like snowy, rainy, or like cloudy, so it's really dark. Uh, we don't see uh, sunshine that much. So many people got depression even though Scandinavian countries are known as most happiness country. If the sun comes out, everyone go to outside to uh, see sunshine. 
I thought it was really important to intake sunshine, I mean like vitamin D. So if you are in the environment that you cannot see a lot of sunshine, then taking vitamin pill is also an option. If you see like sunshine, you can get a lot of vitamin D from it. It's okay to use like vitamin pills if you feel depressed and if you don't see like sunshine a lot. For me, I try going out to walk or like see sunshine every single day, but I cannot walk if I don't have any destination. I go to a cafe to study or work, otherwise I cannot go out from home like all day long, which is not really good. And the third tips is meet someone in person. So I try to communicate with uh, people every single day. For example, if you go shopping, if you go to cafe, like you talk with somebody in person to pay. So I think it is really important. It's okay to uh, call somebody to talk online, or have a meeting with online with your clique. But I feel like it's kind of like imaginary. It's not imaginary, but I don't feel it's real sometimes. So like I try to meet someone in person at least once a week so that I can talk a lot with them. I always like talk a lot when I meet my friends for like three or four hours, which is kind of like my therapy. That's what I found during COVID. First tip is avoid the thing that you don't want to do. So when I had depression, I thought I should be perfect with everything. I should wake up early, I should be productive every single day, and I should clean my room, I should eat healthy. It is important to put yourself in stressful environment, but I feel like you need to prioritize your mental health because I got depression almost four years ago and I still don't feel 100% sure about that. It's gonna take so long time to make you feel comfortable again if your mental health goes bad. So I feel like you need to prioritize your mental health first. Even though you are in the stressful environment, as long as you feel like fun or like results or so on, I don't think your mental health goes really bad. You don't have to do things that you don't want to. That's the kind of like mentality that I got in Denmark because people I met there, they did what they want to do. Actually in Japan, you need to be in the university at the age of 18 or 19. It's better not having gap year if you can go to university or like if you can get a job. It's not diverse actually. But in Denmark, people have gap year after finishing high school to find their dream job or like what they want to do in the university. I feel like it's really diverse. I think I should do what I want to do, especially after I came back from Denmark. The last tips is making yourself busy. If you think your mental health is really bad, you should make yourself busy. You don't have to like move, do activity for yourself, but you need to do something without thinking anything, you know? If you have a job to do, you don't have to think about your uh, anxiety. And if you have hobbies and if you do it, you don't have to think about anything. If you can sleep a lot, it's it's also okay because during the sleep, you, you don't think of anything. So it's also okay. But do something. Don't think about too much about your anxiety. This is the end of this episode. After you listen to this episode, I want you to think about following three questions. What are you gonna do when you feel mentally ill? What is your tips of not being depressing? And do you compare yourself with others? And why? So please comment or like tell me somehow what do you think about it. I hope you have a really good day. Thank you for listening to episode 2. Stay tuned for next episode. Bye-bye.